we've got ourselves a tandem. Look, and I thought it'd be good for our marriage. <laughs> teamwork. Te yeah, Makes teamwork. Dream work. You just need to make sure you're pushing, Steph. But this is getting really serious. We've now got Rupert with us on the tandem. Let's see how this goes. Here we go. The three of us. Family bike ride. <laughs> Family bike ride together. We're on the tandem. Is that all right, Rup? Yep. He's like Tutu Kamu and being carried around. I'm on the roof of the van and as you can see we've got two big solar panels already. There is room for a third and fourth but we've got a solar blanket and we just need to see how we get on really because we might want to use this space for storage or for something else so play it by ear let's not over engineer anything just just yet. I got up okay but I don't know how easy it's going to be to get down let's see. Oh, that was easy. It's good access though to clean the solar panels and also when we get snow on the roof being able to get onto the roof easily to clear it is quite a handy feature to have. We know from experience that solar panels being covered with snow or sand or mud or anything like that can really impact how efficient they are so being able to keep them in tip-top condition is quite important for harvesting the most amount of power as you possibly can. So, um, this is going to be useful, this ladder. Our two leisure batteries. This is the water heating system and the, the heater is coming in and through it and that will heat up the water for us. Well, we're getting there with this van. We've got our fridge freezer in, the boxes installed. I've put all the inverters in and everything like that. We've got some cargo boxes that are going to go in here, a bit of a wine and spice rack there. We're going to keep the cuddly toy on the couch. And then we've got some stainless steel work tops to go on there. So it's getting along, it's coming along. And then I've got some sinks and tap upgrades to do and some new ceilings to be putting in. So that's that. I think I'm going to start moving our videos a little bit towards what we're going to be carrying. So some of the kit I'm going to be carrying, the stuff I like to use, stuff I like to cook with, some reviews, that sort of stuff, because we've spent quite a long time now on the road. It's been nearly, well, it has been four years full time. So we've got quite a lot of time and nights away under our belt. And I just thought it might be useful to share what we might carry. Don't worry, there'll be no referral codes, discount codes or uh, discount, you know, all that stuff. That's not what we're going to be doing. It's just going to be me 
being me authentically telling you how I feel about some of the stuff I use and I'll be happy to admit where I've gone wrong and stuff because I bought stuff sometimes just to slate it and it turned out to be one of the best things I own so find out what that is next week uh, the way I'm going to end this video is in a fun way and that is to commemorate uh, a very good friend of ours that we lost recently, Mark Bunce, who was a major part of Chef Campus, particularly in the early days. And me and Mark spoke quite a lot offline. Buncey or Magpie, as I would call him, because he would go down the middle aisle of Lidl and literally be like a magpie. He would get anything shiny and put it in his basket, which is always hilarious because he took too long in any shop we ever went to. Um, and there's loads of stories about him. Um, I mean, maybe go, you know, if you want to know the real story, like how we, you know, got to know each other then go and maybe read up on it but what I would say is he was a close dear friend and his passing is definitely a stark reminder of how short life can be and how we must try our best to enjoy it make the most of it and that's what we're going to carry on doing so Buncey we're going to carry on and uh, he loved these videos he used to watch him in his bloody camper van on his drive and send me stupid pictures of him watching him or telling me oh he was this daft idiot on the bloody telly I'm seeing you know that sort of stuff so um here's some footage from the time he came out to Germany to pick us up because we blew up an engine on our Synchro West failure we had full breakdown cover but um Buncey just wanted to get in on the fun and I don't blame him because we had a right old time we got really really drunk and got in the local newspaper so yeah it was good um so yeah when uh when we hit the road this is this is the sort of stuff I want to be doing and this is the sort of stuff I want to be filming and I'm going to be sharing more as well so thank you everybody thank you so much for your support on this channel it really does mean a lot and I will see you maybe next week we'll see take care bye bye the van's broken down but don't worry we have alternative transport we're on a sidecar in Germany some people have AA. We have Mark Bunce. <laughs> Buncey has arrived. I'm in the back. <laughs> I'm in a Peugeot. And Rupert's in uh, the Bugatti with Steph. <laughs> there they are. But he's in the back as well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go traveling, it'll be the best thing you ever do. Cheers, Mike. Cheers, Steph.